everybody Leslie Brown here and uh, this is my first video and uh, I'm a little nervous so you'll have to bear with me and I am naked I mean my face is naked and uh, I will just preface this video by saying my mom God rest her soul <laughs> would roll over I was always brought up and taught that you don't show anybody your naked face um, and I've always lived by that until now. Different time, and as I talked about in my introduction video, um, I was, I've been asked by so many people to do this, and haven't done it, um, for fear of what people would think, or, uh, what people would say, and also just being, you know, vulnerable with no makeup, you know, to start with. So, um, this, as I said before in my introduction video, is uh, my channel and I'm going to be talking about all kinds of different things, just quick tips about makeup and beauty and um, fashion and um, things that I run across. I get so many questions from people like, where did you get those earrings and where did you get that blouse or, you know, how do you do your makeup? How do you get it to look that way? And so I'm going to say I don't know everything. <laughs> I've learned a lot um, from YouTube and over the years and so I hope that you can learn something from me. So this video today is about primer, makeup primer that is, and I'm going to just start by talking a little bit about how important that is. Now there was a time in my life that I did not use primer and I thought oh my gosh I don't have enough time in the day to barely put my makeup on much less do all these other extra steps. But I will tell you that it is very important and it has helped a lot um, with the way my foundation lays and looks and I promise it will help you and it does not take very long at all. Um, I have gotten a routine down and I will show you in later videos kind of more of the routine. I'm just going to make this one a short video about primer and like prepping your face for makeup. Um, that's really important. It's like a car. You know, if you're painting a car, then you're going to prime it first. I guess that's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, so I know that there's a coat that goes down first to make sure that the top coat is smooth and looks nice. So that's kind of the same thing with your makeup. If you don't have a good canvas uh, or background uh, to start with, then it's not going to lay right and it's going to lift from your face. I know a lot of people tell me like, you know, throughout the day through here, you know, your makeup comes off or it lifts from your face and it's kind of splotchy or blotchy or whatever, and primer can definitely help that. So I highly recommend um, you use primer before putting on your foundation. Another thing, um, my face is, is, is bare other than uh, I started um, with moisturizing my face, and that is another very important step, and I'll talk about that in another video in depth, but in this video, I'll just show you kind of, you know, I hate videos where they kind of just start in the middle and they don't tell you what else they did. And it's like, what else did you do? I know that wasn't all you did. So um, I'm going to show you um, just the products that I used before um, starting this this primer and show you the, the products that I use for primer. And, um, and it's just going to be a short video about that. So um, first I, you know, I cleaned my face, used uh, a moisturizer. And right now, you have to find the right moisturizer for your face. Um, if you don't, then it's not going to work. <laughs> a lot of people are oily. Some people are dry. I tend to be more dry, um, especially in the wintertime. So you kind of just have to find what's right for you. But right now, I'm using this Tatcha the Water Cream. Let's see if I can get that in the camera. See, I told you I was new to this. There you go. Tatcha the Water Cream. And um, it's really, it's a nice watery moisturizer, but it doesn't make me oily and it really moisturizes my face. So anyway, it is expensive. Um, there are many, so you don't have to use this, but I'm just showing you what I use. And then as I get older, I get these little lines under my eyes. They're driving me nuts. <laughs> and so um, I have been using the It Bye Bye Under Cream under eye okay that's a mouthful the it bye bye under eye eye cream wow that's a lot so it smooths brightens and depuffs and it really does work so anyway that is the bottle there if you can see it and it's by it cosmetics and um so anyway it works really well so i put that under my eyes to um brighten because i have typically dark under eyes 
and also to depuff. So um, those are the only things that I have put on my face. I'm trying to make sure that's it. Yes, that is the only thing other than cleaning it. So, um, like I said before, the primer, it's super easy. It's super quick. It, it really does not take that long. Um, my go-to is the Smashbox Photo Finish. And I love this. Um, it is got like a really oily consistency, but it's like, I don't know if it's silicone. Anyway, it kind of feels like silicone. But anyway, uh, it's the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. And I will put the link to these products below so that you can check them out. Now, this is kind of like a mid-priced primer. Um, it's not the super expensive, but it's not the super cheap either. I've used the super cheap. I don't particularly like it, but if it's all you can afford, then of course it does work. Anything is better than nothing because you want your face to be like a canvas and you want it to be smooth. And if you have texture, which I do most of the time, it will help with that. If you have, you know, bag bags under your eyes, it will help fill that in. Um, and many other things. Um, they have all kinds of different ones, but this is, this is my favorite. Um, before I put this on and show you kind of how it works, I'm going to show you the other products that I use. Um, I also, along with that Smashbox primer, I use this Makeup Forever Step 1 right here. And it's a skin equalizer and um, it's a smoothing primer. And so it's really good. I only use it when I have texture. So like if you have little bumps or which I typically get them right here. So I use it on those areas on top of this other primer and I use it under my eyes um, because I do have like dry skin sometimes and so it helps kind of fill those ridges in. Um, another thing that I will do sometimes is Smashbox makes this Radiance Primer and it is kind of uh, like a glow, it has a glow to it and um, anyway it's really good like the summertime if I'm at the beach or you know, um, a lot of times on stage, if I want like a glowy look or like I have a good tan or whatever, I kind of want to accentuate that, I will mix this in just a little bit with the other primer. Um, another thing that I do like for shows or stage is I use this Instant Moisture Glow. Um, and it is from, I can never say this from Right, y'all Saint Laurent like I'm from the mountains I don't I, I love designer products but I don't typically speak or you know say the names right so anyway you'll have to forgive me for that but anyway it's top secrets and I will put the link to that and that really helps as well and it really does give you an instant glow but disclaimer this is really expensive I only use it when I have shows or like a taping or something like that um I am getting ready for my first video song vlog, and um, so that's what I'm doing today. And um, so I wanted to just show you the the process of the primer. Uh, another product that I use a lot is look, I have to clean it off. Um, is Morphe eyelid primer. Now I don't use this. Uh, well, I said I use it a lot, so I lied. I really don't use it a lot. You see that? Okay, so. I use it when I wear eyeshadow because of my eyelashes. I do have eyelash extensions and it's really hard to get all that to go together well. Uh, if I do use eyeshadow or I'm going to, you know, make up my eyes or make them really dramatic, whatever, I'll use this because this really helps too. Because again, your eyes are the same thing as your face. It's like a canvas. So you have to prime it and make a base to build off of. So let's jump into, uh, well, I've got one more product. Sorry. Got one more product. Okay. And this may seem like a lot, like these are different products that I use at different times. And this one, uh, I've kind of gotten in a habit of using it. It's the MAC Prep and Prime for lips. And so I will put this on my lips, um, especially if I'm wearing like a bright color, like a red or a pink, because a lot of times it will bleed. And by bleed, I mean it like kind of falls from your lips and gets everywhere. So this really helps to keep the, the lipstick in place. So... Um, I'm going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. And I'm just going to put a little bit, I mean, not a lot, like a medium size amount. I guess that probably is a lot. I do a lot of things in excess that I probably shouldn't or don't have to. I, I've put the primer all over my face. It's really had time to dry, but I have this really cool fan that I got off of Amazon. It was super cheap. 
and um, most of the time I just dry it really quick. This is really helpful to have if you're in a hurry, which I always am, and um, to use this to dry foundation, um, anything that's wet that needs to dry basically in your face. And this is really, you just, it's a rechargeable fan. So I just, and it's got three settings. Whoa. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so um, I love this thing, Amazon. And I will try to put the link below if I can remember where um, where that is. So, um, so I did the photo finish primer and added that little bit of radiance. Now I'm going to use this um, because I do have some texture on my cheeks. And this Makeup Forever Step 1, um, which is the one that's good for texture. And I'm just going to put a little, <laughs> I say a little bit, this is actually a little bit. Put a little bit on my finger, rub that in, and then go in where the texture is over top of the other primer. Now, this video is taking forever, but I promise it's super quick once you get used to it. But I put it anywhere I've got texture. And like I said before, under my eyes. And the other eye. And then I also I have a little excess on my finger. So I'm going to go above my eyes because my eyes get a little dry. So that is that. And um, I am going to do some eyeshadow for this video. So... Um, or for my video blog, my video song blog. Um, so I am going to be using the uh, Morphe eyelid primer. So I'm going to dry this a little quicker. My eyes closed. Y'all still there? <laughs> All right. That should do it. And so I'm going to go in. You don't really, you really don't need much of this. Just a little bit. So um, like that much. That's probably too much. Like I said, I do I have OCD, y'all. And I put things, do too much of things sometimes. Okay, so I'm just going underneath the eyebrow and all over the lid. And that will dry on its own because I'm, the way that I do my makeup, some people do their eyeshadow first, which I think is not my thing. So I don't ever do that. I actually, I think I do that close to last. And um, because I am going to be wearing a bright pink lip for my video, I'm going to take the MAC Prep and Prime. And it's just like a um, lip, what am I thinking of? Um, like chapstick or whatever. Anyway, rub it in. And so um, that is it for the primer and you wait for that to dry and then um, I'll be doing some other videos on other steps in the process and I'll probably throw some other videos in about fashion and things that I find. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and if you um, feel like you want to subscribe and uh, it'll keep you posted on new videos and um, Anyway, this is me, and uh, this is something I really love is beauty and fashion. So I hope you will enjoy it with me, and hope you learned something today. And be sure and get your primer before you put your foundation on. And uh, I will show you the finished look here in just a second, and we will see you guys next time. Okay, so I wanted to come back and show you guys the finished just foundation and powder, basically, and concealer, which I will go back and do different videos about concealer and the process that I do um, <clears throat> to do my makeup so anyway as you can see super smooth <clears throat> that was not super smooth <laughs> um, but you can see the difference that you know primer makes and um, I will say this that um, I would recommend primer for all ages um, you know you may need to tweak the type of primer that you get um, the primer that I showed you earlier that I use may be too oily for you. It doesn't give off an oil for me, but this is just what I use. So, um, go out there to your local Ulta or Sephora. They will help you with your skin type and what 
you know, will work best for your skin. So anyway, this is not the finished look, which I will put a little snapshot in the end, but this is the, um, the, the just the foundation and powder. And so I know I'm looking a little crazy and I'll explain this if you don't know what this is it's called baking, um, in a different video. But, um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and, um, hope you learned something. Leave me some comments below. See you next time. All right, here's the finished look.